So cold out. It's probably like what 10 degrees out, which I think is like negative 22 Celsius. Cold in this parka is my favorite parka. U.S. military issue. And a buddy of mine came back and brought this to him to me. Um, along with some other gear. Back, you know, duffel bags and uh, pants and shirts and uh, the whole nine yards. The only thing I didn't have was the liner, which I picked up a liner at a thrift thing. But I don't wear it. This is super thin. It doesn't tear. Hardly stains. Blocks all the wind. It's waterproof. I've been wearing this for 15, 20 years. Still in great condition. Um, and the hat that uh, Mama G gear matches it. So I'll probably wear this for work because it's a versatile hat and I can make it warmer or cooler. Um, but we'll probably just have to order new ones every year because I'll probably tear this one up. I used to just wear my car heart. Just take a GoPro on one of these little things. And these have rubber feet. They sit on about anything. They wrap around stuff. And then we got all of our other fittings in here. And we can put our laptop. This is padded. Goes in here. Now this is made by uh, Eastport. Got little pockets on the side. I got all my accessories in here. Like my GoPro battery chargers, Bluetooth headphones, regular headphones, all kinds of little doodads and hookups, memory cards, and every <laughs> attachment you can think of. Um for a GoPro in here. Chest mounts, head mounts, wrist mounts, everything. Drone and our professional camera and stuff get kept in this box. It's padded and you can lock it. So we use a Lenovo IdeaPad 330S uh, when we're on the go. Backpack, there's a convenient little zipper here, small pocket, but we keep our stickers, business cards, pen, marker, quick access stuff that we need to hand out. And then we have our video release forms. <laughs> we'll be putting in a garage door so we're not going to be outside even though it's out, which is nice that we're going to be inside. We have a, a salamander kind of heated up and we just got to change out a garage door opener. But uh, this is kind of our nomadic life. We, live in we eventually will travel full time. Now we have to travel for work, and uh, so we go to a lot of different places. And today we're in Huntington, Indiana. So Huntington has a lot of RV parks, but the one we're uh, bringing to your attention is Kilsoqual Park. It's $12 a night for non-electric, $15 for electric, and some people said there is water. See a few uh, billboards for RV parks, and we'll look up the one we were talking about and see if we can find out where that is and show you. Nice little park here. You can't swim, but I think you can fish it. And there's a shooting range right outside of town here that you can go shoot at if you're into shooting. Canadian geese is everywhere. The old uh, Erie Rail waterway, and look at the ice floating down on it. It's pretty cool. And there's a bike trail that goes pretty much through the entire town of Huntington. So if you have your bike, you can uh, ride your bike pretty much anywhere around in Huntington. You see right here the bike trail. That's the bike trail that kind of goes through the entire town. And this is the Erie Heritage Park here. Citation, Dodge Citation. It's plugged in. You see that husky right there? It does.
left on the opposite corner, TCB Games. That's a shop that's got a lot of like board games and stuff in there. Like they have a really nice uh, laundry mat, and they even have uh, drop-off laundry service here at the gas station. Most people laundry mats don't really matter, but to the nomad community, and people RVing, sometimes that's a really big deal. I'm going to put in a picture here of uh, some hobo um, and, and drop-off laundry here. JJ's. And um, I'm going to put in a picture of... Um, some hobo symbols that we leave places so you'll know what they mean. All right, that sign says downtown. I think that's where we're heading. There's a VFW here. I'll show you the key places that you should probably might want to check out. There's a huge library. Look how big that is. Probably has internet. Oh, that's a mortuary. There's Nick's Kitchen. We That's been featured on Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, and we did a vlog on that. You can check that out. It's a really great place. As you'll come for the pork loins and stay for the pie. So check out that while you're here, Nick's Kitchen. Classic diner. And... Right up here... Right, here's a happy camper store. Antiqueology has every type of soda you can think of and old time candies. They have a whole wall of all kinds of sodas that you can try. The fifth parlor is a nice uh, like bar type thing. Now, little sweet spots. That's like a candy store. But up here is this is the old uh, train station in town, and they've turned it into a restaurant called Pizza Junction. And this is a really nice place to eat. The food here is amazing. The scene is amazing. And so you definitely want to check out Pizza Junction when you're here in Huntington. That's a must go to. And there's a museum up here. Right and then there. right beyond uh, Pizza Junction is a historical museum. Nope, but look at these outhouses out back. Or train houses or lighthouses or something. They're all different kinds. There's some old gravestones. And look at these old, I think they're train box, switch boxes probably. Or outhouses. Look at that one. It's got like a Dr. Seuss chimney on it. Pretty cool. Church. It's a prudential building. Windows at the top of that sphere. Spire. So pretty cool old town. And they're trying to build back up. And one of my favorite things about Huntington is it has a Hardee's. You can't find Hardee's everywhere, but Huntington has its own Hardee's. And I absolutely love the Hardee's Frisco breakfast sandwich and the Hardee's Frisco burger. section with CVS, McDonald's, um, Goodwill, Dollar General, somewhere out here. 
Kroger's. Your auto places. Big lots. Yeah. Hardee's. And then there's their school. That's cool. So, if you guys choose to go to Huntington, hopefully you check out those spots. It's definitely fun. this and get it up tonight.